Alright, good evening everybody. Welcome back to She Geek, she Geek in the City. I'm Phoebe, the resident geek. And yes, it's the exact same day. I'm still in my clothes from earlier from when I had lunch with my best friend. But I wanted to come on and to film um, a second part to my uh, Mirex Barber Chair review because I realized I did not do it and it's been over a year or so. So I wanted to um, do that. So I wanted to show you guys the chair and how it looks how it looks now it still looks extremely good it really does um it has a couple little stains here and there but that's to be expected um from <laughs> excuse me um doing hair cutting and things like that but if but as far as um you know leather wise leather is still in great condition um the foot pedal is still in great condition um, footrest and the actual adjustable paddle for to make it go up and down it works perfectly still I'm going to take you guys off so you can get a better a better look and a closer look at um, the actual um, material and things and I'm going to move the light a little closer so you guys can see a little bit better but this the detailing is beautiful on the chair, the stitching, all of that is still intact. And it's been over a year, maybe like a year and a half, almost two years, not really two years, but a year and a half at least. And you know, you see, I do have a little discoloration here, but that is from, um, this is from uh, dye, hair dye. And this is from people's jeans and things like that fading on the leather. But as far as that, the chair is in beautiful condition. Um, again, when I purchased this chair, this Mirex chair, it was $99.98 from Amazon. And I purchased it from the actual Mirex company in out in California. And I do not believe that they are making any more of these chairs. I could be wrong. You can always go on the website to find out. But um, yeah, I just wanted to film a part two uh, and let you guys know how good the chair still looks. The chair is awesome. It's still really, very comfy and um, it works really, really well. I love it. My clients love it. Um, I think the only thing I'm going to have to get Babe to do is maybe to adjust the back part of this chair, maybe pull it out just a little bit because I do have some, um, I do have a couple of clients who are a little hippier than some, some of the rest. And I think it would be a little more, um, helpful for them and to them if, um, the chair was, um, actually pulled out a little bit more <clears throat> so they could, you know, kind of like scooch back in a little bit more. But as far as that, the chair is in great condition. I would definitely recommend anybody who's looking for a barber chair or a hairstyling chair to definitely purchase the Mirac chair. Um, if they, I believe they're still selling it, but again, do not quote me on that because I have not purchased another chair for them since then because I've never had any need to. But yes, to me, that was the best buy ever. So the second thing that I'm going to show you guys is my shampoo bowl. So give me one second. This little darling is my Zen, my Zenny, Z E N Y portable shampoo bowl. Okay, so this is my second bowl that I've gone through. Um, my first bowl was made exactly like this, um, with the oh, I'm looking for it with that tulip-like flower-like shape which is great this part is for the scoop part right here is for the neck and it comes with a drain stopper um and it, it holds a lot of water it holds a really great amount of water but i do not suggest you allowing the bowl to, to get filled up so much because it puts a lot of pressure on that neck that is where i went wrong with my bowl my first bowl because i only had that bowl for like eight months and my first bowl my first zinny bowl uh portable bowl and I would let it get um, filled up with so much water that it began the, the neck here. I'm going to take you off, take you guys off once again, so you can see a little bit, a little bit better what, what I'm talking about. Because the way that it is connected here, they put this together. So this this part here, it puts a lot of pressure 
on the neck of this bowl here when there's a lot of water here and your client is is laid back in this part of the bowl so you figure the human head weigh, weighs about 11 pounds you have 11 pounds laying on this bowl and then you also have you know water in this bowl so that puts that puts a lot of pressure on this part of the um bowl and by it being adjustable too so you have to be careful about adjusting it because the bowl does tilt forward and backward i will show you that you have to really really um un unloosen that that screw there that knob and that will that allows it to move back and forth okay Ooh, sorry so I'm going to tighten this back up because here, here's what I learned. And this is my mistake with my first one. I was not really um, loosening that knob up all the way to adjust it up and down. I was, I probably stripped that bolt. I'm not sure. It could, it could have been just wear and tear and it could have been also um, something that I did as well. But the bolt is awesome. Um, it took no time to put it together. Um, it's it's great and the only thing i ended up doing was i ended up gluing this part this pipe into the the the, the feet part and you can see where i use gorilla glue down here to to glue it in here to keep it steady um but that was all that i did um to actually secure it because it's pretty secure i think babe did a pretty good job putting it together um it does come with a drainage hose now i will tell you ladies and gents that with the drainage hose you have to have a bucket or a vacuum um a wet vacuum uh something or something like that to let your water drain out because if you do not you will cause a major flood on your floor um and i do not advise trying to put the hose into your sink because the way that this is set up, the water has to flow downward. It cannot flow um, kind of like up and over, if you get what I mean, into your sink because it's going to cause a lot of leakage. And I'm telling you that because of the way this hose is affixed to the, 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 the pipe under here. So I'm hoping you guys can see that. So I would advise either using a shop vac to drain your water or to get a big marshmallow bucket like I have there um, to drain your water and that's been working for me pretty fine and as far as you know using um, a water source um, sorry guys I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little close to you now because I'm putting you back on um, my little uh, tripod thing um, but as far as a water source I've been using um, my my um spray nozzle from i use my oh sorry guys i've been using my spray nozzle from my um my uh and now you're up in the air lord jesus i've been using the spray nozzle from my sink to um shampoo my client's hair and you know just having them if you have a long enough hose you can you know spray it up use it to spray them down with you know with it and it works just fine and i've been um using this particular bowl for about three months now three or four months now and it's been pretty good my first bowl lasted about eight months um so um again i do believe that the zini bowl is a great bowl it really is it's easy to put together um it is lightweight so you can like pick it up with one hand um but again, I, if you want it to be really, really sturdy, I would Gorilla Glue the um, the uh, base to the long extended neck to make it a little more sturdy because that's, that's what I did. And um, my only advice to you would be to um, not allow water to like pile up into the bowl. Like I would definitely, like if, if you're rinsing your client, um, let that water out and to clean. How I clean my bowl, I get some Spick and Span spray, I use Fabulous, and I wipe that sucker down, and then I rinse it out, and I wipe it off dry. And I also try to make sure I keep the hose clean, because if you do not keep the hose clean, um, because of chemicals and hair, you will get a funky smell. So you may want to send a little, a little baking soda down there, um, or a little bleach down there to clean your hose out. But as far as that, I think... It is a great product. Um, I, I I would I would buy it again. Of course, I've I bought it again. Um, but so now um, and the Zini company is very 
great about getting back to you if you have any issues with their products because I called them, well actually I emailed them to let them know what was going on with my um, bowl. They were um, very apologetic. Um, they sent me out the new bowl right away um, and they actually sent me extra parts. So now I have additional parts so I can put my other bowl, my old bowl, back together as well. So then instead of having one bowl, I'll have two bowls. So just in case something happens to this bowl, I have extra parts to fix the old bowl, which is great by me. I really love that. I really, really do. But guys, um, if you are interested in doing hair at home or you and, and you and you're looking for an affordable way to do it, this bowl here, that this Zini bowl here, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna show you guys again. That Zini bowl there, I believe, was only like $44.98 um, at the time. And it it came, it didn't come Amazon Prime. I think I got it um, within four or five days um, when I when I purchased it. But it was Again, guys, I'm going to move back with us so you can see, but it was so worth it. It is very worth it. And the end is a, and the neck adjusts too. You undo that, this screw here, and it moves up and down like that. And to tighten it to, to your desired height, all you have to do is just boom. It's sturdy. You know, I, I, I love it. I, I really do love it. And I think that it is the, this is a quality bowl um, for somebody who's just starting out or if you're, you're just, you know, you're just doing hair at home and you don't, you know, you're, you're not, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to test it out, you know, doing hair at home or maybe you're retired and you just want to do, you know, clients at your pace or whatever. I, I really think that you should really, really um, check out the Zini Bowl. And if you're in the, the market for a new barber chair or a new styling chair, I would definitely um, choose the Mirax chair because, again, it is durable. Um, I've had some clients who, like I said, I have some very hippie, um, very full-figured um, clients who come and sit in my chair and I haven't had any issues out of the chair at all. The chair goes up and down. You know, it's easy to clean. I wipe it off. Um, with a warm rag and um, towel, I towel dry it and I spray it down with with Lysol, and she's great to go. And yeah, it it has been one of the best. Per these two things have been one of the best purchases that I could have made, and I'm very grateful for them. And I am um, letting you guys know that if this is something that you're that you're in the market for. I would definitely give these two things some consideration because they work great. At least they work. They like they work great for this week. So um, this is all that I have to say on my two reviews on the Vinny Bowl and the Mirex chair. And thanks, guys, for listening. And I'll talk to you guys later. Of all, as always, like, subscribe, share. Do you boo? And I will see you um, next around. And as always, so much love from Baltimore, guys. And I thank you so much. And yeah, let's try. And I'm trying to build my uh, my following. So come on, guys. Let's, let, let's get it. Let's subscribe so you won't ever miss another upload from me. I love doing reviews. I, I'm always doing a review. So yeah, so let, let's um let's get the number, those numbers up to about 200, 300 by the end of October. I would love that. Thanks so much. That would make a girl from Baltimore extremely happy. Thank you guys as always. Bye. Much love from Baltimore. Bye.